guys, welcome to another video on Bharat in Germany. My name is Bharat and in this video I want to discuss a comment which was posted in one of the previous videos. And that is from Akshat Goyal. He says, one video on studying in good college in India, then finding a job abroad versus studying abroad. So I think this is a very good question and I wanted to like clarify it to you with seven points. And I'm going to like go through every single aspect of what would make more sense. Should you study in a good college in India versus should you go abroad? And all of these are going to be my honest opinion. So like see if you learn something from them and something that maybe helps you make a better decision for yourself. The first thing that I want to talk about is experience. Like how is the studying experience in India versus studying experience abroad? Because now I've done my bachelor's in civil engineering in India and I did my master's in international management and engineering in Germany. The differences actually are huge. If you talk about like how much like you have to struggle like to kind of like get through different kind of like subjects and stuff in India that feels in the starting a lot but in the end when you see that like many times you can just find out from the professors what are the important questions or something or what are the important units then clearing the exams are generally easier the second thing that I did not like so much about let's say um, studying in India was that you have this like compulsion of how many classes you have to attend and the thing that i've seen is that as soon as you say that you need to attend at least 75 percent of the classes in order to write the exams you're already not so motivated like going to the class feels like a burden than actually like going there to enjoy i know that we had a few good like professors in our bachelors but let's say out of like 42 subjects or something there were two or three like you know really good professors who were really into teaching and would come to the class prepared with what they have to teach others would just come write three or four keywords on the blackboard and then they're going to go away and then sitting in a class like that just for attendance like it just absolutely did not make sense to me i found it a huge time waste so i think like that is one thing where you feel much better abroad because you can pick and choose what kind of subjects you want to study and in many subjects there is no compulsory attendance now on the other hand in some subjects you have compulsory attendance in every single one of those lectures but those lectures are very few and far between another thing that i saw in for example our indian universities was that I think you grow up like more as a person because like if you are going to any kind of let's say hostels or something you have to understand how do you live together with the people who are your same age and you actually grow up much faster by living in a hostel than like you know also like being a day scholar or something and I think like in Germany like that kind of like goes up one level further because like you also have to understand how to live together with your same age of people and from a different culture. So this is like, I think, something uh, very interesting. But somehow I still have this feeling that like, you know, maybe in India, you just like kind of struggle more with things. You grow up more um, somehow during your bachelor's compared to Germany, because I think in Germany, like things are still more regulated, things are more simple. So you are not confronted with all of the chaos that you would have otherwise while studying in Indian universities. So all of a sudden assignments are due, all of a sudden you have to go to this place and that place and get that document and do this X, Y, Z. There are so much stuff that you have to do in India. But like when you come to Germany, everything is very streamlined, everything is very organized. So then like maybe you do not develop so much like just on the part of like your uh, readiness to kind of like confront different kind of conflicts but on the other hand i think because it's a smoother experience you are able to do those particular tasks that are given to you in a better way now within the experience part let's also like quickly talk about friendships because i think this is also very important i personally believe like when you're making friends i think like you make much better friends during your bachelor's than you make uh, during your master's this is my personal experience and i believe this is because after 12th you're coming from a very difficult kind of situation you are coming after preparing for two, three, four years of these different kind of university entrance examination, IDJ, advanced, mains, whatsoever. And then you have to like kind of get together and like talk to each other about all of these things because all of you have been through the same stuff. The societal pressure is the same. But for example, when you come abroad, this is different for every single person. So I think that is a bit different. My brother, he went to Canada for his diploma so like right after his school he just like did a diploma and then afterwards he started working so he was around like 16 17 or something when he went to canada 
But for me, it was different. I did my bachelor's first in India and then afterwards I did my master's in Germany. So I could like compare this like between me and my brother. Like my brother had a really nice time because he was able to go to Canada at a very younger age. So he was able to find friends again and everybody was able to like mingle with each other. But for example, at the stage of master's, nobody's thinking of friendships anymore. They're just thinking about when do you get done with the master's program so that you can start working. That's the main concern. So this is one thing that you should also like kind of like keep in mind. The second thing that I want to talk about is adaptability. I think when you are going during your bachelor's to study abroad, I think you are more likely to adapt to different kind of things, to adapt to the new culture, adapt to the new language. Then when you're going for masters, I really believe this and mainly because it makes a huge difference on what kind of age level you come to a particular country because it really makes a huge difference on what kind of age level you come to study in Germany or like any other country. Is it like bachelor's or is it master's? So in those kind of scenarios, I do believe that you learn more during your master's in Germany. And I also believe like you might learn a lot more during your bachelor's in Germany than you would learn in India because I've studied in India and unfortunately like the experience has pretty much about like solving different kind of questions in the books which are given very very less focus on the practical experiences very less focus on um, using softwares and things like that so like they will have classes like you have a computer lab and stuff and they will have softwares and classes and everything but the real life implication of that that would be non-existent and this is something that I really miss. Whereas like in Germany, when I was doing my structural engineering program, like they would have a question uh, that we would have to solve by paper. Then the exact same question they would ask us to like, you know, make in the computer and like make a model for it. And that was generally for the structural engineering high rise buildings. So all of the stiffness and everything that you have to calculate for a section of the building and um, see the bending moment and shear forces and things like that. So all of that was super interesting. So adaptability, it's better at a younger age when you go abroad than when you go later. The third is acceptance of degrees. So when you're thinking that you want to study in India and then you want to like go abroad and like do a job, you have to keep in mind that most of the foreign employers, they are more comfortable judging the candidates on the basis of their local degrees. That means if you're studying in Germany, you're applying for a German employer, it is going to be much easier for him to understand what kind of skills you might have learned in the university versus when he has to judge what kind of skills you would have learned in your Indian bachelor's or master's in India. This is one thing that you should definitely also keep in mind. The fourth thing I want to talk about is the ease of finding jobs. Finding jobs in Germany is much, much easier if you're directly studying in Germany and then you're looking for jobs because you have more time for yourself to network and talk to different kind of people. You have three years in bachelor's, you have two years in master's, it can be doubled. So six years in bachelor's and four years in master's, that's the maximum time you can spend on your degrees. And during that time, you're able to have the opportunities to find internships, to find part-time jobs, to connect with different kind of people, your batchmates and so on. So that when you're going into the job market in Germany, you already have a network of people who can support you and tell you, okay, take a look at this or take a look at that. Maybe this could be an opportunity and so on. Whereas when you compare it with studying in India, you essentially have to do a lot of things on your own and your path is going to be more and more individual than many other people. Also, like I said, it is going to be more difficult for the foreign employers to judge your degree. Like many times they're like, okay, yes, like bachelors should be fine. And then the heavy lifting of your CV is going to be done by what is your work experience, what kind of things you have done extra, what kind of conferences, workshops, and things like that. Then another thing that I can highly recommend is that if you're doing your studies in India, Think about taking work experience of like one or two years and then you can find jobs in Germany more easily compared to just like trying right after your bachelor's. That is highly unlikely and I haven't seen like many people do that. Doesn't mean that you can't do it, but I haven't seen many people do it. Another tip I can give you here is that learn German at least till B2C even level because that is the place where you get comfortable in sitting in different kind of business meetings, talking with different kind of people giving presentations and things like that. So if you study in India or if you're spending your time in India working or something and you want to just directly come to Germany for a job, really learn German. There's no way around it. Everybody else on YouTube who just says like, yes, we got a job in Germany on job seekers visa with English or something like that. Those are such rare cases and those are such achievements that I completely understand that they're making a YouTube video about it, but that is not the norm. 
that is very rare so you should keep that in mind and like give yourself more chances to succeed in germany than just like relying on your english um proficiency then the fifth i want to talk about is quality of jobs of course because if you take a look in india like after your bachelor's you're getting somewhere around like 12000 to 15000 indian rupees per month for full time jobs which is very very less i mean this is the amount of money that i pay like some of my employees like just for part time work during their studies and like definitely not full time you have to like keep this in mind that this is not a nice salary that you can live off of like especially after your studies that's the first thing the second thing is you do not have any kind of fixed working timings that means like it can you can start at 9 o'clock in the morning and you can like keep on working till 9 at night many people do not care and i think like this is a bad like work culture in germany you will always have your saturdays and sundays off and you will have fixed working timings that okay you're working from 9 to 5 whatsoever in some jobs i have seen that like you are supposed to work longer or something that is pretty much like when you're really ambitious you want to get to a specific stage in a company then i think it makes more sense also if you take a look at the salaries um uh, after bachelor's it is like um normal to like get around like 2700 or 2900 euros per month whereas after masters it this generally jumps to 3300 to 3500 depends from place to place during the corona times i've even seen the salaries like go down um and now like the normal salary at least like during this time is around like again 2800 to 3200 euros so it really depends and mainly because right now everybody is so scared in doing any kind of like major investment and also when you hire an employee it is not easy to quit them it is not easy for any party so um that's another thing that like you know many employers keep in mind and that's why at least right now they do not want to do like you know any kind of major investments and that's the same thing that you also see in india but yes quality of jobs in germany is generally much much better than the quality of jobs you have in india the sixth thing that i want to talk about is the time horizon for pr or citizenship so for example if you're coming to study in germany you do your degree and then afterwards when you're working two years full time you're able to apply for your permanent residency right away and then after three years you're able to apply for your citizenship that's generally how it works but if you're coming directly from india on a job seeker visa or something and then you're looking for a job if you get a blue card then you're able to apply for the permanent residency in 33 months and if you have a b1 level german proficiency you're able to apply for it in 21 months so this is faster this is three months faster than when you study in germany but getting a blue card is also like generally well it is not so simple so if you are earning a lot of money then of course you get the blue card that's not a problem or if your job is in one of the fields where not a lot of people are there already then they can also give you the blue card and you can get a faster permanent residency but the time for citizenship again takes longer because for citizenship most of the times you have to wait for at least 5 years because for citizenship most of the times you have to pay your taxes and social contributions for 60 months and that translates to 5 years no so again rules keep on changing so like keep an eye out on these things seventh thing that i can talk about is the overall development of people of when you're like studying in india and then coming for finding a job in germany whereas like studying abroad directly i think that when you're studying abroad you just understand the culture much much better and the cultural shocks and all of these things are less and then when you go into a job you can understand how these people might be behaving already whereas when you come directly from india and you're like doing a job in germany then the kind of cultural shocks you have it is like much more and you also sometimes do not understand why is a specific person behaving in a specific way and you're like is it normal here or w- what should i do here should i contact somebody and things like that i think there's a huge difference with that but overall if your goal is to live in germany and work in germany then i would say i think coming for studying does make more sense like even if it's for bachelors because you're just able to give yourself more time to adapt to the new culture versus when you're coming just for your masters or something or when you study in india and then you just come for doing a job in germany i think there is a huge difference there so overall i would say if you want to like have a long term horizon of just staying in germany come earlier that's better but if you do not know or you're not so sure about it and you want to get the experience of studying in india i would say do it it is also having its own like positives you find really good friends and 
generally the batch this time is a lot more chilled out you don't do a lot of things but on the flip side you also do not learn a lot of things so this was pretty much my experience of what i think about studying in india and then coming for a job abroad versus studying abroad directly and then doing a job thank you so much for watching this video if you're looking for any kind of guidance regarding studying in germany or finding jobs in germany Check out my online courses, Complete Course for Finding Jobs in Germany and Complete Course for Studying in Germany on Big Academy. The link for both of them is going to be in the description below. Thank you so much again and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.